and welcome back to my office. I'm trying out a brand new recording device, so hopefully the audio lag will help. I'm a little thrown off because usually there's this countdown to the timer, but this one just goes right off, but I'm sure that you'll enjoy it anyway. And it looks, it records opposite too, which is a little bit weird. But anyway, uh, glad to have you here checking out another video. It is recruiting season here at Sheridan College. And for all of you people who are college band directors out there or looking to become college band directors, start early. <laughs> start early we have all kinds of great events at the college and it's a matter of getting the students here to visit during those Discover Day events, which are really good. The Discover Days are really great. They have the advising people and the admissions people here talking to the students about the options that they have at Sheridan College and how everything's going. So it's a really good thing to let the schools know ahead of time. Another thing I've found out is that uh, continuously bombarding the high school band directors with information is a really good way to do it because if they are anything like the people who are out here, they're so busy they've got all kinds of events so oftentimes it will take more than one email or a phone call to get through to them and going out and, and working with the schools has been great um, I have a little package deal that you saw a little bit in the last video about kind of how you know how to help brass players which is really good um, I talked a little bit about this earlier uh, if you're looking to continue your performing schedule the stuff in on your door and I'm running into that a lot now. I'm doing this Tchaikovsky Swan Lake coming up in March with the Wyoming Symphony Orchestra. And for those of you, you may know a bit about Swan Lake, like, hey, it's a ballet. But what you may not know is it's about two hours of music, which turns into I have about 30 pages, 30 pages of music that I have to learn. And um, if I don't stick to my schedule here in my office or when I'm practicing, I just simply either won't have the endurance to play for two hours or I won't learn all the parts. So it's very important to kind of stick to it and um, it's really also important to stick to it in between performances. I'd say about two weeks ago now I played with the Billing Symphony and I really wanted to keep things up because after you get it through a performance it's like oh I've worked on all this music and now I can take a break. It's really important not to take a huge break because you, the next thing comes up right away and you may have to do something in the meantime. Like I got called to do a, um, a gig with a bass player and a vocalist and I said well how long is the gig for and they said well it starts at 6 and it'll probably end at 11 which for a trumpet player, that's a long time if you only have a bass player and a singer. So, uh, again, if I haven't been keeping up on it, or I have a real struggle with it. So, um, good luck all there uh, out there for all of you who are trying to gig at the same time. And remember, recruit, recruit early. And if you're a high school band director, don't be shy about asking the college professors to come in. It's part of the deal. Um, I'm sure that they love to. Uh, I've had a, people, a few people contact me and they say, hey, can you come? And I say, yeah, no problem. It's easy. Uh, so... Uh, don't feel afraid of saying, hey, can you come down and work with our band a little bit or talk to them? Can you send us some materials? Um, it's a really good, really good thing to do. So, and plus, it's a great experience to work with the students anyway. And uh, who doesn't love that? So, anyway, take care. I hope you enjoy this video. See you next time.